Garrett, I want to start out with a congratulations because you and your wife just had a kid literally the first week of spring training, your second child, right? Correct, yes. I got two boys now. I got Riggs and I got Trip, and uh, they're doing great. Mama's doing good. Everybody's doing good. They're happy. They're healthy. That's what matters. Okay, last year, I remember in spring training, you sort of had to just kind of sit by your locker a lot. You know, you, you were here, but you couldn't really participate. It was your first year with the Padres. This year, it's got to feel a lot different for you, huh? I mean, yeah, it's a definitely a different feel. I mean, just being able to, you know, be part of of, you know everything and being able to do the PFPs and you know know that you're a part of the team a little bit more than you were last year is, is nice. Uh, I'm just happy to be back playing baseball to be honest with you. I mean you know when you go without playing for a while you, you really start to appreciate it a lot more and so I'm just happy to be back. Yeah and it was so important to you at the end of last year coming off of Tommy John surgery to get back in a big league ballpark. You got to pitch, you got to start three times. How big was that for you going into the offseason and then coming into this season? I mean, it was huge. It, it, that was kind of the, my, my goal the whole time was to at least make it back by the end of the year. Um, just to kind of check some boxes off, you know, physically, mentally, to know that I can go out there and compete at my highest level and everything's going to be okay. Just a little bit of peace of mind. And then to be able to take that into the off season and have a normal off season in the gym and my throwing program and everything, it was just, it was nice to be back on, back on track. How tough is it when you have Tommy John, you know, you're rehabbing, it's a long road, you got to kind of take it step by step, you can't look too far ahead. What was that like for you mentally and emotionally just to go through that? I just try to take it one day at a time, you know, I, I kind of looked at it, you know, as an opportunity to, to get better than I ever had in my life, you know, in the gym wise. So I was able to put, you know, 15 months in the gym, you know, and I, I just kind of looked at it as an opportunity to do that. I mean, I, you know, when we're playing, you don't really have an opportunity to do that. The season ends, you have a couple months off in the off season to get in the gym and then the spring starts again. So, you know, I just, I really looked at it as an opportunity to get better and, and I just try to take every day and do the most with it. How's your arm feel now and what's the next step for you? It feels great. I mean, I, I, it hasn't felt this good since probably high school, to be honest. Uh, um, Dr. Elitraj did a great job and, and everybody here, the training staff, I mean, I couldn't have asked for any more. It, it just went really smooth and, and I got everything that I possibly could need. So. Um, it's just exciting to be able to go about a daily, you know, you know, go about your daily business and just not worry about it anywhere. How much are you antsy to just get back in a routine, in a big league routine, once the season starts? Probably too antsy, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, you know, I, uh, I just need to find a way to maybe like gear it down a little bit. You know, you get excited and the adrenaline starts going, but uh, uh, those are things that'll kind of wear off as spring goes. Yeah. I think you know, you settle back into your comfort zone. So, uh, you know, it'll be something I'll probably deal with at the beginning, but I'm excited to kind of get going. We heard Jace Tingler say, and it's understandable, that it's responsible to sort of watch your arm. You know, your first year back from Tommy John surgery, we saw that with Chris Paddock too. What do you think when you hear that? Is that just kind of a smart thing to do? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it. And I mean, you know, this is something you want to do the right way the first time. So, you know, I totally respect that and I, and I totally understand that. Um, you know, if, but if the season's going and, and I'm not having any issues and everything's going crispy, I mean, I don't see a point in why I can't just keep moving. So, and we've talked about that and I think that's the plan moving forward. You know, as of right now, there's not going to be much restriction it's just we're going to play it by year, you know, start to start, month by month, and see how it goes. A lot of times when your name is mentioned, it's said, you know, can Garrett Richards get back to the guy he was in 2014, 2015 with the Angels? Those were really good years for you. Do you see it that way, like you want to get back to that guy, or do you see it as just looking ahead to someone new? Uh, I mean, in the back of your mind, you, you kind of feel like you have to reprove yourself, I guess, a little bit. But, um, you know, I... I just want to go out and compete. I know that if I stay healthy and I just go out and compete and do my and stay, you know, with the things that I need to worry about, I know the rest will take care of itself. So I'm trying not to get too caught up in, all, you know, all the other stuff and just kind of worry about, you know, handling my business and when I do get to pitch, you know, making the most out of it. The starting rotation, really good, really talented, but sometimes inconsistent. What do you think of this group as a whole and who's in it and what do you guys need to do to get over that hump? I think that a lot of guys last year that, you know, they were having their first full year in the big leagues, you know, it's it's typical, you know, I don't, there's not very many pitchers that just kind of breeze through their first year in the big leagues. And so, you know, some guys took their lumps, but they also showed, you know, great stretches where they were great too. So a lot of promise. And I think, you know, the second year with them having, having gone through last year, I think this year is going to be even better. You know, they, they're only going to get better and they've only learned from the mistakes they made last year. So I think the learning curve and and all that's going to be a little bit smaller for these guys and only, not only that I mean they're hungry you know they, these kids want to be good man and and I feed off of that and, and I learn from them just as much as they learn from me so it's a, it's a great environment. Yeah you came into the clubhouse at the end of last season and you're the most veteran guy in this rotation and they na they naturally they organically like flock to you and you seem to just love it. Do you do you intentionally look at yourself as a leader of that group? I mean it's kind of happening anyways but how do you see it? Yeah I mean it's kind of weird to think about you know your career going kind of in that direction 
and at this point in time, you know, it goes by really fast. That's, I guess, the most eye-opening thing. But, you know, like I said, I just enjoy being around guys that want to get better. And, and these guys, they want to get better. And so it makes my job easier. And, you know, if I can help out along the way, that's what I'm here for. And, it, you know, th it makes it easy when they want to learn. So, it, you know, it's... It's a good environment to be around. Are you the guy who will be like setting the workouts and doing all that this season? I, I'm more the guy that'll kind of challenge guys, you know, especially Patty. You know, me and him go back and yes. forth a lot. You know, what's whether, that like? Whether it's running sprints or it's you know playing catch, we'll make we'll make catch as as com competitive as possible um, in the weight room. Just kind of anything. You know, I I didn't have a brother growing up, so I kind of look at some of these guys as like a little brother type deal. So it's fun to you know you know push each other a little bit but in a fun competitive way I think you know it's a great way to not only get the most out of you but you know you create a little bit of culture too. I love it okay off the field any hobbies anything you like to do? I really like to play golf uh, golf's fun um, go see movies you know just kind of chill stuff but uh, you know with babies and stuff now that's kind of my main that's my main thing right now so I, I come to work here and then I'm a daddy afterwards so uh, it takes up a considerable amount of time but it's a lot of fun. Big college football fan too right? Oh yeah Boomer Sooner baby. <laughs> Garrett thank you so much good luck this season. Appreciate it thank you.